Try taking this off. So this is the anti-torque portion, and you can see it's it was doing something because it's a little bit out of out of shape too. So there's a lot of force on this. Here's a special washer that has a key on it. It's oblong to match the axle, and the threads on the axle are mashed down from spinning. And that's definitely spread out. I don't see any cracks. And get it off, I can just kind of mash it down. So here's how bad the dropouts are. They're supposed to be parallel. Definitely a lot of force on that. The other one's pretty much the same. So the parts that go on here are there's a washer that I've been putting on the back side, and then this washer here has this key on it. That one's been going down like this. And you can see it has that shape. That's the shape of the axle. So that goes there and that was supposed to key into the, uh, the dropout. It was a good fit before. And then this anti-torque thing goes on top of that and was secured to the fork. And then there's just a nut that uh, holds it all together. So here's the actual axle. You can see it has, it has threads and a flat on it. So of course the idea is that it's supposed to uh, be stationary. This is supposed to provide some, maybe most of the uh, restraining force on the torque. And then I guess that key is what's really designed to transmit the torque to the fork. And it's only on one side. So, if there's some way to keep the fork from spreading again, I think it'll work fine. And there's one of these on both sides. I think the main cause of the failure was the nut coming loose. So it lost the clamping force. I don't see any obvious signs of cracking. So I just want to see how hard it is to... Uh... And th the back ones are fine. Those are how they're supposed to be. So I don't really want to put too much force on that. This tool might not be the right tool for the job. 
no, this, this thing is not the right tool for the job. Okay, I got these bent back into some kind of shape. So at least that's kind of a first step. I'll see if the wheel will fit back on like it's supposed to. Okay, this is the hard part. It's trying to get this thing on here. For one, it's really heavy. And two, the fork is narrower than the, uh, than it needs to be. This is going to be a real struggle. Well, I got it back in there. I have these torque nuts in the proper place. I need to get some some locking nuts so they don't back off again, because I think that was ultimately the problem. What's up? The threads are messed up. The threads are messed up. Which is not good. That's tight. That's what I thought last time too though. Okay, I almost have this thing back together. Um, if I can get this thing on there. It's pretty much in a state where it's probably okay to ride. Um, as long as I keep an eye on it. And make sure the, uh, the nuts don't get loose on the axles. Um, it's still not totally trustworthy, I don't think. I'm going to try to buy another one of these, you can see that, torque arms to put on the other side also to reduce the uh, amount of load on each one. I don't know if that would truly work or help or not. There might be a better, better solution. Okay, that's nice and tight now. I just need to get that nut tightened. I think, I think this is probably what ultimately led to the catastrophic failure was this nut not being tight.
Okay, that's good and tight. So this is all pinched together real good. The forks are re-straightened, or the dropouts on the forks are re-straightened. The anti-torque washers are on there along with this torque arm. Uh, it's not, not a whole lot worse off than it was originally, unless the metal's fatigued a little bit from uh, being bent. Other than that, I would say that's pretty much back together. I just need to find the cap that goes on there. How could it go very far? There it is. I need to uh, put some paint on there to see if it starts to back off at an angle so I can see it when I'm riding it. <sighs> anyway, I think it's probably it's probably okay. I don't think I'd be too scared to ride it at a moderate speed. But I just, I'm looking at it and it looks, I'll take some better angles here, but it looks like maybe some kind of a small C-clamp. Not on this side because of these screws here, but on the other side there's enough room to maybe get a really small C-clamp on the bottom of the fork drop out to keep it from spreading. There's really no room over here. Okay, so here's the bottom of the dropout. I think there might be enough room to get a little mini C-clamp on there. I don't know if that would be strong enough or sturdy enough to stay on there or to do much. But it couldn't hurt. That's that anti-torque nut or washer. Now on this side, there's there's no there's really no room over here with all the rotating, or with all the rotating components. There's really no room over here. I don't think to have anything. Anyway, for now I think it's I think it's rideable.